Okay, I want you to just pretend for a second that you don't know what game this is. Take a good look. Going off these visuals, what year would you think this released? For comparison, here's Infinite World, which released in 2008. Here's Universe 2, eight years later, in 2016. It's only fair for both of us to be on the same level. This is Fighters, which released in 2018. And our last comparison, Kakarot, which came out in 2020. Now I don't know about you, but for me personally, this looks really good, even by today's standards. Which if you haven't already guessed it, the game we're looking at here is the 2009 title, Dragon Ball Raging Blast. Right away, I'd like to say that this game is by no means perfect. It has some pretty glaring issues that we'll be covering in a more in-depth review, but while I've been playing through it recently, I couldn't help but to admire just how damn pretty the game looks, despite being 15 years old. The cell shading is absolutely beautiful and honestly makes some of these characters feel like they're being ripped straight from the show. I don't know if it's a controversial opinion or not, but I prefer the look of this to its sequel, Raging Blast 2, which has a slightly more subtle look to it that I would interpret as not being as accurate to the look of the anime, particularly when it comes to character models. It still looks good, don't get me wrong, but I just prefer this Hurry up and take over this. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy, but I really prefer the slightly more vibrant look of this one. Here's a look at some of my personal favorite ultimates from the game. Side note, if you're enjoying my content, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, we've got a lot more Dragon Ball content on the way. The game just seems to get so much right, at least visually, and I'm a sucker for attention to detail. One thing that really stood out to me is your character's hair color while transformed into a Super Saiyan. It has a much lighter tone while not powered up, but as soon as you enter into a powered up state, or what the game calls high tension mode, you'll notice the hair turns a darker shade of yellow, which I think is a pretty cool little detail. Now, obviously Raging Blast doesn't look as good as Kakarot or Fighters. I don't think there's any argument to be made there, and I'm not trying to say it's the best looking Dragon Ball game ever, but for being 15 years old, I think it looks pretty incredible. Personally, I think it looks better than both Xenoverses, but what do you think? Do you think Raging Blast 1 is one of the best looking Dragon Ball games? Do you prefer the look of its sequel, or maybe another older title? Let me know down below. This is Jarbo Gaming. until next time.